It's me, Igis. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. Everyone seems to have forgotten, but I remember that day we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. Graduations today, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? The promise we all made? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and prosperity. On this auspicious occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as Student Council President. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. I... We... Huh? Wait, wasn't I supposed to... Oh, I... I... That's right. I remember now. Our promise. I remember. Yes. Upon my father's death, I was set adrift in life. No longer will I run from the future. I will face it head on, in memory of my father's will. I am resolved, free from doubt or hesitation. This is because... It is because I have such wonderful, such priceless friends. Mitsuru! We... We swore to each other never to lose hope no matter what tomorrow brings. Senpai, we remember about him and Igus. Yes, of course. Let's go, everyone. Where do you think you're going? We're in the middle of a ceremony. The wind feels so nice. This is my first time experiencing spring, but this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away. 
Accepting the inevitable, all things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want, what the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so, I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this, but that's okay. <sighs> My life will be worth living if it's for this reason. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> what am I doing? I understand now. So I should be happy. Hey! Everyone! I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what so that I can protect you. Thank you for everything. You're tired, aren't you? You can close your eyes. I'll always remain here by your side. The others will be here soon.